Today is National Teachers Day, a day we celebrate our teachers. Really, we should celebrate them every day. Uh, of course, we've been thinking back to our favorite teachers as children, and I have mentioned several times I appreciate the teachers who are working with my children right now. Today, we have quite the veteran with us, a 41-year veteran, Jeffrey Muller, with the West Fargo Public Schools joins us today to talk a little bit about your long career as we celebrate all teachers. Welcome yeah. to North Dakota Today. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Okay, so in the break I said 41 years. You must love what you do. Let's talk a little bit about yeah. what's kept you doing this for that long. Uh, you know, it's the people. Um, I love the, my colleagues, my music, fellow music teachers, but the whole staff, our administrators. Um, but I think the biggest thing is the kids. I just, I love working with high school kids. It's you great. Do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a challenge, I think, sometimes, too, to say you love working with teenagers. I mean, I have an almost teenager, so I, I can <laughs> say that, but uh, even with the challenges of working with young people, you, mm. you think it's worth it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, just that relationship that you have with them, it's, uh, that's a key to it. And yeah. you must also have a love of music. Can we talk a little bit? I, I just feel like yeah. being a music teacher, that's, that seems more fun than maybe being a math teacher. I think so, yeah. <laughs> um, I think what I like the best about being a music teacher is I get to do the music, something I love, with other people who love it too. Uh, it's kids that have, they don't have to sign up, but they get to sign up for choir. So if they don't, they're, that's, they're on another track and stuff. But the kids that I work with uh, really want to be there and want to make music, and that makes, that makes a great combination. Well, over 41 years, a lot has changed. But I have to ask you about, you know, the last year for sure. I know we've found a lot of heroes during the pandemic, and we've talked a lot about, you know, our first responders, health care, you know, law enforcement. But all along, I've said teachers have really played a huge role when we've done distance learning um, and then the hybrid. Can you talk a little bit about how it felt going through uh, 2020 mm. as a teacher? Yeah. Um, the fully distance learning is a challenge. Um, just online is not quite the same. And um, when we started our school year, we were um, half the students for a couple of days in, in, in the building, and then the last half of the week, the other kids, and otherwise they were online. So having that connection made it easier than being totally online. Uh, made quite a difference for just that personal connection. Um, part of it is, is I'm going to see Mr. Mueller tomorrow and I've got to get that assignment done, <laughs> you know, just like because he's going to ask me about it. And uh, so that, that makes a difference. Um, and, and a lot of my kids did fare well with being totally online. They just determined that they were going to make it work. And uh, but it's 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 a lot more fun when you're in person. It really is. I know. Yeah. Well, in the last interview, we were listening to, you know, cell phone video of two girls singing at Target Field. I was like, yeah. that sounded yeah. pretty, pretty good for cell phone video. And so when you think distance learning and listening, you know, over a Zoom call or Teams meeting, it's not mm -hmm. the same as being in the room. That's true. That's true. Uh, just a few years ago, we went to having kids have their own personal device. And that made a big difference in being able to do it online. Um, if it had been just a couple years before, we would have been struggling. And uh, so it was a good, you know, our administrators were looking ahead to the future, not knowing what was coming, and uh, really set us up well to at least have some good success that way. You could have never uh, imagined this year when you started, what last year would have been like when you started 41 years ago, right? No, no. Um, if I go somewhere, I'm at, and nobody knows where I am. <laughs> I don't have a phone. I have my, maybe my wife knows I went to this store, but she doesn't know I'm also going to this one, this one. So just that ability to communicate was it, it's quite different from back then. Yeah. Before I let you go as well, we do have a lot of uh, you know, young teachers coming up in our universities mm -hmm. here. Uh, what would you tell them on this National Teacher Day to help prepare them for you know, mm. you know, possibly 41 years as a teacher? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think the thing that's helped me to endure through some of the challenges, and, and even when you love it, it's, it can be a challenge, but uh, it's, it's loving your kids. Um, I love my music, but loving my students. Um, Jen Frenstead, our principal, said to us a couple of years ago, um, when you love your students more than you love your content, that's the day you become a teacher. And wow. um, it's like, oh, yeah, that's right, Something that's right. There. Yeah, yeah. And so just loving those kids and making those connections really, 
makes you want to get to work the next day and see what else we can do with, in my case, in music and stuff like that. 41 years. So, Congratulations. And Thank happy you. National Teachers Day and happy National Teachers Day Thanks. to all of the teachers out there as well. Stay with us. Coming up next, a crateful of love for mom. We're talking to Grateful Cratefuls next about the perfect Mother's Day gift.